smells terrible. It's the life spark. It forms after... Well, it stinks. This whole thing stinks. Ignore him, Willow. He's a fool. Sometimes a kid wants something other than Harry Potter or a Disney princess. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 underrated kids' movies. For this list, we're focusing on high-quality children's films, live action or animated, that deserve a wider audience. If you're more interested in Weird Factor, be sure to check out our list of the top 10 creepy kids' movies. Ginger, look out! Number 10, The Last Starfighter. Okay, let's go. Prepare for target lane back to Starfighter. Video game addicts haven't lived until they've seen The Last Starfighter. One of cinema's first CGI heavy films, it's an exciting adventure tale about a teenager who discovers that his favorite game is really real. I just love surprises, don't you? And he's desperately needed to win the real space war that's going on. It's a fun film, made more so by Robert Preston doing his patented con man bit, this time as a space alien. Hey, it works. Greetings, Starfighter. You have been recruited by the Star League to defend the frontier against Zor and the Kodan Armada. Number 9, An American Tale. So what are we going to do about those cats? One of the first films to successfully challenge Disney's dominance of feature-length animation, an American Tale scored with audiences in 1986, but has since fallen by the wayside. Very interesting. That's a shame. It's a funny but touching tale of Russian mice immigrating to America to escape the pogroms. American Tale scores for its story, its beautiful Don Bluth animation, its Jewish American themes, and its excellent voice cast that includes Madeline Kahn, Christopher Plummer, and Dom DeLuise. I'm a vegetarian. That's right. Oh, a little fish now and then. But what I really like is some nice shh, broccoli. <laughs> Number eight, The Prince of Egypt. I knew you cared about our freedom. Miriam. Freedom? Why would I care about that? Moses rules in The Prince of Egypt, an adaptation of much of the biblical book of Exodus. Produced by DreamWorks Animation, the artwork is suitably beautiful, especially the backgrounds. Thanks to your God. Or is it thanks to you? It also features a knockout array of talent in the voice department, from the Moses of Val Kilmer to Ray Fiennes, Sandra Bullock, Michelle Pfeiffer, Martin Short, Steve Martin, and Helen Mirren. You shall do my wonders. Number 7, Chicken Run. What is that chicken doing outside the fence? Peter Lord and Nick Park's riotous Chicken Run is a stop-motion animation treasure. We've got to get out of here. A bunch of hens destined for the chopping block put their faith in a big-talking blowhard of a rooster and pay for it. Almost. Let me get this straight. You want to get every chicken in this place out of here at the same time? Of course. You're certifiable. You can't pull off a stunt like that. That's suicide. Mel Gibson voices the rooster, but it's Miranda Richardson's vile villainess that steals the show. This will take Tweedy's farm out of the Dark Ages and into full-scale automated production. <laughs> Chicken Run teaches several important lessons, but it does so without being preachy. Tally-ho! Talks away! Keep over, you old fool. They just want to count us. Oh, how dare you talk back to a senior ranking officer? Number six, Flight of the Navigator. Oh, where have you been, young man? Come on. A young boy is abducted by aliens and returned to Earth with his head filled with alien technological knowledge. Oh, and eight years have passed. I think we should take a look at this. Where did this come from? From the mind of a 12-year-old boy? But he hasn't aged a bit you just know the government is going to want to get their hands on him, especially after an alien spaceship is discovered. Flight of the Navigator is tremendous fun, exactly the kind of adventure every 12-year-old boy dreams about. Number 5. The Secret of Nim. Why have you come? Please. 
forgive me for disturbing you, but my son's life is in great danger. When her child falls ill, Mrs. Brisby, a field mouse, seeks out the help of a group of odd rats whose intelligence was boosted as part of a scientific experiment. The owl said they're good and smart. Mrs. Brisby and the rats team up, despite the efforts of a greedy and disgruntled rat to foil their efforts. <laughs> the secret of Nim combines traditional Disney-style animation with a more contemporary storyline to create a dramatic, unique cartoon experience. Number four, Fern Gully, The Last Rainforest. Cause greedy human beings will always lend a hand with the destruction of this wetless jungle land. A strong environmental message permeates Fern Gully. Lumberjacks in the forest are confronted both by fairies eager to save the trees and the evil spirit Hexus, who desires environmental destruction. Of course. Humans. What wonderful creatures. So clever. So helpful. Good triumphs in the end, with the humans learning a valuable lesson. Guys, things have got to change. Fern Gully may have its preachy moments, but it's also an exciting adventure story with some genuinely heartfelt moments and a star-studded cast that includes Christian Slater, Robin Williams, Cheech and Chong, and Tim Curry at his villainous best. Should have sprayed for best. <laughs> mm, lovely wings. So easily Number three, The Iron Giant. In the 1950s, a lonely boy named Hogarth stumbles across a giant injured robot. It's about 50 or 60 feet high, and it only eats bad shot opulence, man. It's probably been sent by foreign enemies to take over the country. We should bomb it to smithereens before it does. Created by aliens with the purpose of causing destruction, the Iron Giant's memory has been wiped out. From Hogarth, the robot learns about love, kindness, and self-sacrifice. Critically acclaimed, The Iron Giant is one of the most moving of modern children's movies, and the emotional punch it packs is matched by the joys and thrills it provides. Superman. Number two, The Brave Little Toaster. I was designed to stick in a wall. I like being stuck in this stupid wall. A movie about household appliances? Seriously? But The Brave Little Toaster is just that. It's my function! And it's an amazingly good movie as well. The toaster and his friends set out on a danger-filled journey to find their owner, and almost end up consigned to the scrap heap. We're going out to find him! The brave little toaster has quirky songs, a unique set of characters, a witty and entertaining screenplay, and pitch-perfect direction. What more do you need? The master's down there! Look! It's him! What? Where? Why, look! It is him! Maybe he still needs us! Yeah! Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Uh, have you met them at all? Who? The poor? The poor? Oh, you must meet them. I just know you'll like them. Charming people. Of course, they haven't got two pennies to rub together, but then that's because they're poor. Uh, <laughs> look! <laughs> so, um, which way are you taking? Uh, suicide trail through Nightmare Canyon or the shortcut at Satan's Ridge? Su suicide trail? Good choice. I christen thee the Thunder Road. The Thunder Road! Oh, the shame of the polar bear who fears the water. No wonder we are shunned by our fellow bear. Woe is us! It's what he said. Kind of pathetic, really. <laughs> Number one, the road to El Dorado. What are we waiting for? Let's follow that trail! Yeah! Oh! Sweet. The Road to El Dorado boasts an engaging Elton John Tim Rice score, but it'd be a treat even without it. El Loosely inspired by Rudyard Kipling's The Man Who Would Be King. I knew it! Oh! 
Your dice are loaded! It tells of two con men who stumble upon the legendary city of El Dorado. Look! El Dorado! The city of gold! Kevin Klein and Kenneth Branagh are a wild comedic duo as the criminal couple. And the script provides an abundance of laughs. The trail that we blaze! Kind of a modern version of the classic Bing Crosby, Bob Hope road films, The Road to El Dorado is pure fun. Listen, all we have to do is keep playing the one against the other. You know, do a little god dance, chant some mystic mumbo jumbo, dazzle with some smoke and mirrors, and then get the hell back to Spain. Do you agree with our choices? What other neglected masterpieces should we have added to this list? For more enthralling top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. We wish our intrepid little friends the best of luck and a fond farewell. There, you're all a bunch of junk.